hey guys welcome back to another video today I'll be asking does the tile order affect render times in blender so the first question is what are tiles so tiles are these little squares that you can see appearing like you see those in the top like right cornerish area those little orange uh, squares or not squares but like those corner brackets those define an area in which the image is being rendered. Now you can see the reason that it has the sharp edges is where the tiles kind of form a little pattern. So what is the tile order? The tile order dictates when certain tiles get rendered. There are six pre-programmed patterns. Hilbert spiral, center, left to right, right to left, top to bottom, and bottom to top. Now left to right and top to bottom and their, their counterparts are pretty obvious. However, center starts in, if you can imagine the square, the tiles are here. It'll start rendering in the center. We'll do all of them. and It'll keep going, which is pretty self-explanatory. It starts with the center and goes outwards. Now, Hilbert Spiral, which I'm currently using, is a little harder to explain. It kind of vaguely forms a spiral shape where it kind of will render like these, and then it'll keep going down, and then it'll eventually get to the sides and keep going but it's harder to visualize than some of the other ones. So it's, does the tile order affect render times? In theory, no. The same tiles are being rendered either way. Like, each part of the frame is going to be done one way or another. So, should it matter? No. In practice, it does. So the scene I'm using is these little kind of glass slash diamond turtle, low poly-ish turtles that I made. So then as you can see, this is the first one with the spiral. Now, I was using it on most of the default settings with a sample rate of, I think, 150 plus the AI denoiser, which is why it looks so smooth and so nice. The render time was 1 minute 25.77. With center, it went up another two seconds left to right it would have gone down one second right to left around the same one so you can see there isn't that much change but there is a very slight variation so the render times do vary however the times aren't that significant but I'm not sure about this but I, I assume if you were to do a larger render where you're doing like maybe thousands of samples and like a very high resolution frame and like a long animation I do assume that there would indeed be maybe minutes difference I doubt hours but as you can see from this chart I made these are the time in seconds and there is a like slight very noticeable uptick per frame on the center one and I've noticed that the lowest one is left to right now, the second lowest is right to left, and then you get bottom to top, top to bottom, and spiral, and then center. So then spiral is the default one, which isn't the fastest, but I like it more, because then it starts with the center of the image, which is sometimes the part that you really care about. So it'll do that before you've done anything else, so then you, you might stop it if you don't like the quality. So it's not like rendering the background first. So that answers the question. It does, but not by a lot. Remember guys, thank you for watching this video. If you want more Blender videos or Blender comparisons, please tell me in the comments. Remember, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have ideas for new videos, tell me in the comments if you dislike the video dislike it tell me why and as always keep on making